This is Trent Smith from the National Weather Service in Missoula, Montana, doing the fire weather briefing for Thursday, August 14th. Um, the image that I have up is uh, the water vapor satellite with 500 millibars, kind of showing the big low, cutoff low that we have sitting over the top of Washington and Oregon. Um, several little disturbances are moving through this flow um, as we speak, which is causing scattered to uh, widespread showers with some embedded thunderstorms into the region. This low will start slowly ejecting off to the northeast on Friday, but will continue to cause the uh, widespread um, precipitation. Um, some of these thunderstorms could be uh, on the strong side uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, per the main threat is going to be the heavy rain, but hail will be a potential. Uh, temperatures will remain on the cool side with a uh, high humidities. This weekend, the, the low will move out of the area, and we kind of get under this uh, weak northwesterly flow Saturday, Sunday, Monday. This flow pattern will keep uh, uh, the shower activity mainly along the border, um, um, but uh, they could creep down into parts of west central Montana and maybe even portions of north central Idaho. Temperatures will be slowly uh, warming through the weekend into Monday as humidities uh, start uh, falling down into potential teens, maybe low 20s by Monday afternoon. Tuesday and Wednesday, the flow will be more of a westerly flow, which will allow gusty afternoon evening winds to mix down to the valley floors. Um, temperatures, we're expecting them to be running near to slightly above normal uh, for this time of year. Um, so, but precipitation and shower activity, we're really not expecting too much at this time. Tuesday appears to be the driest uh, over the area. That's the first image in the upper left. Um, but we're only looking at wind gusts of about 15 to 25 miles per hour um, across the area. Uh, mostly affected will be the east-west oriented valleys and ridge tops across the region. But come Wednesday, we will see a little bit of moisture starting to move into the area, causing humidities to uh, increase, um, but we're definitely looking at the strongest winds to be Wednesday morning up on the ridges, but uh, widespread down into the valley bottoms by Wednesday afternoon. We're looking at gusts of 20 to 35 uh, miles per hour. Uh, again, the west-east oriented uh, valleys will be have the biggest impact uh, from this. Um, the outlook, um, we are expecting, the models are starting to hint at a, a large trough um, trying to dig over the northern Rockies um, in that 8 to 14 day outlook. Uh, there's still some uncertainty. Right now we're looking at uh, um, a better chance of below normal uh, temperatures with a near to slightly above normal precipitation. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 406-329-4716 or visit our website.